Welcome back everyone. Well, when you celebrate a birthday, it's a big deal. When you turn 50, that's a big deal too. 100, but how about 175? An amazing accomplishment or a milestone. And uh, here to mark the uh, 175th birthday of the Toledo Lucas County Public Library, a man who's been with the library system for a number of a years number now. Of years, <laughs> since the mid 80s, it is Clyde School, the uh, director of Toledo Lucas County Public Library. It's great to have you on the program. Thank Clyde. you for having me. I appreciate uh, it. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Actually, it's congratulations to the community. Yeah, absolutely. Me. But uh, we're very excited about it. It's a tribute to a library that's been around for 175 years, the first public library in Ohio. Wow. And I think it's a tribute, obviously, to the community You're and the celebration. Going through a number of events uh, to mark this. Uh, anniversary. You got a big one coming up uh, a week from uh, in about six in six days. Saturday coming Saturday. up on Saturday the yes. seventh. Yes. It is sold out. It is sold uh, out. It is called the journey. Um, tell us what that is about. Is it uh, the journey of 175 years, Clyde? To some extent, and it's a, it's a journey of a, a more or less historical picture, and it p more or less depicts where we came from in 1838 uh, with a staff of I think four or five <laughs> people. Uh, and all through with with our uh, pro did you have to program. have a levy to get it going? Uh, actually, it was it was <laughs> it was a membership life. contribution. Yeah. And as you know now, in 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 this era, uh, libraries are free and open to all. Mm -hmm. But in those days, it was a membership, and and that happened in various parts of this nation, and it eventually changed to public libraries being open to all and free. But uh, it's a it's a program that we've got in the branches that people can see that can kind of gives you a kind of historical picture and. Uh, the story of our library from the very beginning all the way up to the present. And as you know, libraries have evolved a lot in the last uh, maybe 20 years. Yeah, I, uh, I think we think of the downtown library as the crown jewel of the system. It's the heart of it all. Um, but this is this is not your grandfather's li library anymore, right? No. I mean, this is just an amazing evolution. It is, it is. Now, books are still are our main source mm -hmm. of uh, main There's still nothing item. like a book. There's nothing like a book, man's greatest invention. On the other hand, we know that with technology and the evolving of technology, uh, that has completely revolutionized our libraries and at the same time it has even brought more people in to the libraries in the last several years in terms of use of technology. Uh, for, for example, since the era of Carnegie we've seen more library construction in this nation than we've seen since the era of Carnegie. I mean if just in Ohio we have almost close to 400 million dollars worth of public libraries being built around the state from Dayton with its 187 million to Cuyahoga County with 115 million to Columbus with 150 million. I mean libraries are being built. Right. All our I mean, local and, branches and that all have undergone our, renovations. We've gone through renovations, yeah. some new in some cases and that was to the, uh, certainly to a bond issue, the largest bond issue passed in Lucas County back in 1995 at 74 percent of the vote. I mean that's a, again a testament to to the public who supported us. So is this anniversary a way to say thank you in part? It's a thank you yeah. in part but I think it's also a recognition of all the wonderful things that the library can provide. I mean if we had another three hours and we, I could right. do a Gone with the Wind we, story. We have another three minutes Clyde, we? so okay. we can you know we can try to cover as much ground as, as we can. So we have uh, we have the journey there are other events planned but uh, also uh, you're always having something there's always something new going on in conjunction with the library in addition to the nuts and bolts, the core of what the library does. And one of them is authors, authors. Yes. And I understand that uh, one of the authors uh, is Henry Winkler. The yes. Fonz yes. will be the, coming in next year. He's coming in May of next year. And uh, we have several other authors. Uh, Jimmy Baca, who's coming here, uh, who's going to be, I think, a great author. Uh, there's a number of them that uh, are, have been plugged into our, our schedule, and I think it's going to be a great season for author authors, yes. Since 1985, uh, you know, it's 175 years old, but uh, since 1985 you've, you've been with the library system. Clyde came up from Columbus. What would you say is the, uh, the, the biggest change that, that you can point to, is saying that, you know, we're going in a new direction? A positive direction. We still have the books, sure. still have a card catalog sure. of sorts, but we've made this change, and this is to benefit the entire community. Well, I think obviously it's the it's the main library, and it's this branch library. You know, li our branch libraries are iconic in the neighborhoods, and Toledo is a city of really neighborhoods, are. as I'm sure all the mayoral candidates have recognized. So I think in terms of our library system and all the things that it's, it's about, whether it's Point Place, Oregon, all sources, all branches in between. I think it's 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 a, a system that pretty well mirrors the community and mirrors what people want to see in their libraries. At the main library, part of it all, 
I think we have a little bit of everything, but obviously in the branches, whether it's Point Place with all the lake commerce mm -hmm. and, and, and fishing and boating, to Waterville. Right, which right next to the train tracks right there, right? next to the train Uber, tracks. Uber, so, yeah. so again, I think that uh, if, if, if there's one thing I would, I would say, that, which is hard to do, it is the technology, mm -hmm. which has changed the way we, we do things. Obviously, 20 years ago, you would need a congressional pass to use the Library of Congress. Today, you can use it from home office right. or dormitory. You don't need a pass anymore. And also, we plug into all the libraries of the world. I mean, that's something that uh, I'm not sure the public sometimes understands, that we can plug into all the information centers, the presidential mm -hmm. libraries. It's something that we couldn't do at your 20 fingertips. years ago. At your fingertips. With certainly the help of the librarians, who are those chief navigators who help you negotiate what you're trying to find in terms of that needle in the uh, haystack. And their jobs have changed uh, And their jobs have changed tremendously. As well. Yes, they um, have. So what about foot traffic? You know, that you well, reach out to, to the entire world you last know, year, mouse, last, year last year we had around a, almost close to three million visitors. Mm -hmm. Now that's with reduced hours. The with entire the, system. With the entire system. With the passage of our levy last November, which was the highest priority of all the levies on the ballot, we have seen a tremendous uh, surge of our public using the libraries because of the increased hours. Mm -hmm. We were open more on Sundays, yeah. we were open more at nights. Who would have thought that a library would be closed on a Wednesday night or a Thursday right. night? That it was, was a big deal when that levy campaign was going. That on. was a big, yeah. big deal, yeah. uh, a very, very big deal, and certainly the public responded with that, uh, with their, with their feet and their vote. Mm. Congratulations to you, thank you, uh, your staff and the community. 175 years. Thank you, and thank you for having me here. You bet, Clyde Schools, Director, Toledo Lucas County Public Library. When we come back in just a minute, back to the mayor's race as we get ready for the uh, big mayoral debate this coming Wednesday. Stay with us.